today's topic we going to see is sex linked inheritance first you must know what is sex linked inheritance the inheritance of a trait that is determined by a gene located on one of the sex chromosome is called sex linked inheritance so the particular trait has to transfer from generation to generation and that particular gene for the particular trait is located on any one of the sex chromosome may be x in x or y is called sex linked inheritance the gene present on the differential region of x or y chromosome are called sex linked genes so the gene seen on x or y chromosome is called sex linked gene the gene present in the differential region of x chromosome are called x linked gene so the genes seen on the x chromosome is called x linked gene and the x linked gene has no corresponding alleles on y chromosome the gene present in the differential region of y chromosome are called y linked or cholinergic genes so the genes seen on the y chromosome are called y linked or y linked or cholinergic genes so the y genes also has no no corresponding alleles on the x chromosome and the y linked gene inherit only from the y chromosome and that phenotypically expressed in the male sex only and the sex linked traits are more visible that is more common in male than female because the male are hemizygous hemi means one x and one y so hemizygous in condition so when a trait when a trait has to inherit in one of the mutant allele inheritance of x linked genes there are some of the example for inheritance of x linked gene red green color blindness or daltonism hemophilia dutchins muscular dystrophy so first we will see the hemophilia so hemophilia is otherwise known as bleeder disease this is the first point and it is common in men than women and it was reported by john cot in 1803 and it is a recessive x linked gene if a person with a recessive gene for hemophilia that is lacks this person which which is affected by hemophilia lacks the blood clotting substance in that is thromboplastin in the blood if a small injured injury occur for the person that is hemophilia person continuous bleeding occurs this may also lead to the death of the individual so we going to see in the um, criss cross pattern before that we will see the blood vessel of a normal um, normal that is healthy uh, man and then it's so a healthy person and then hemophilia person so you can see the first blood vessel that is uh, both in both the uh, that is healthy and the, uh, hemophilia state it is normal when an injury occurs the blood clotting takes place and here also the blood clotting takes place and the, the third the there is an arrest of there is a arrest of blood that is clotting takes place in the healthy leper individual but in the, here in hemophilia the clotting doesn't takes place the continuous bleeding is occurring occurring in the fourth stage of the unhealthy person the complete arrested blood is arrested but here in the hemophilia person the arresting is not occur the bleeding occurs continuously it occurs so when this is a criss cross pattern so when in a hemophilia the female that is the father is normal is crossed with the carrier mother in the f1 generation you get the son is normal but the daughter is the carrier but you get a one hemophilial son and the daughter is normal so when the mother is affected the any one of the son will be affected and in another in another case the father is completely in the in this case in this case the father is completely an hemophilial uh, hemophilial um, uh, disease patient is crossed with a normal mother 
all the four that is here there is no hemophilial affected son or daughter is formed but the daughters or the carriers here and the sons are normal because this hemophilia is a x linked one the x link here in the mother here you get a normal that is you get a normal sex x chromosomes here due to this the sons doesn't get any infected x chromosome that is hemophilial uh, linked x chromosome only the father so only the daughters or carriers here and the sons are free from the hemophilial uh, genes color blindness one of the another example for x linked gene and in human beings the dominant x linked gene is necessary for the formation of color sensitive cones there are cones and rods in the eye in the optic that is in the retina of the eye so the cones is responsible for the mm, bright light and you can able to identify the colors so due to the dominant x genes we can able to identify we don't have this problem but a color blinded man has the problem means that x linked recessive gene is present in the genetic the dna the genetic genetic uh, genetically it is present so this will leads to the non identity of the colors so this recessive form of the gene is capable of producing a a is equal to pi r square that is a is equal to pi r square that is sensitive cone cells so they can able to incapable that is the recessive form cannot able to produce this much of a is equal to pi r, that is area is equal to pi r square that uh, form like that only we have to use it sensitive cones cannot be able to produce and the recess it is a recessive form so the homozygous female x to the power of c x to the power of c and hemizygous male x to the power of c and y these are the recessive if the chromosome contain these genes that particular individual cannot able to distinguish red and green color so we going to see the two types of marriages to study the color blindness so first marriage between the color blind man and the normal visioned woman so you take the no, that is normal female into color blind male so in crossing in f1 generation the gametes are segregated and in f1 generation normal mm, normal but the carrier female so here the normal but one of the x is getting from the father the x only having the um, color blinded um, gene so the daughter is the carrier but the son is normal that is the normal male we are getting again the normal but carrier daughter is married to a normal male in that you get 3 is to 1 ratio that is 3 are normal vision and one is the carrier of the color blind color blind so from this that is the normal female but the color blind man cross means in f1 generation there is no problem only the carrier is can be seen and in the next generation that is in f2 generation you get 3 is to 1 ratio that is 3 are normal and one is the carrier the two carrier not um, affected one carrier of color blind and in next marriage between normal visioned men and color blind women so the normal that is normal men and the color blind women so now the color blind women is crossed with normal men so the color blind x to the power of c and here x to the power plus so the gametes are segregated in the first generation you get normal but carrier female and here color blinded male why means that is the x to the power of c in and why these two genes are combining so we are getting the color blind male in the first generation again the color that is normal but carrier female is crossed with color blind male you get normal but carrier female and normal male and color blind female and color blind male so here in this you are getting one normal and carrier female and one normal son 
uh, that is normal male and two that is two color blinded person one is female and one is male so this is this shows what means the x linked that is the, uh, the particular gene is seen in the x so that by that time the x where and all the x is combining the particular gene is combining you are getting the defect in this type that is the, the woman is responsible because the woman has two genes but the male has one gene so in the previous here so here the color blind is seen only on the x of the female the female is normal so we are getting 3 is to 1 ratio that is 3 normal and 1 the carrier but here the woman is affected with the 2 x to the power of c and here the men is normal so but the 2 1 x to the power of c and x plus is joined means it is the carrier but 2 x to the power of c is uh, crossing in the second generation you get two affected that is two affected colorblind female and male one carrier female and one normal male so the x is the uh, is responsible for the genes that is x linked genes are seen on the x chromosome inheritance of y linked genes so genes in the non homologous region of y chromosome are or directly inherited from male to male. So here in previous X linked we see the X genes that is X linked genes are seen in female and the male they are inheriting how we see in the both hemophilia and the um, color blindness but here the male that is male the Y linked genes Y is seen only in the male. So it is linked to the male only that is male to male. So due to this only we are saying it as holentric genes the Y linked genes are Holentric genes in human beings. Hypertrichosis that is the hairs on the pinna of the hair is transmitted from father to fa son. So because males has Y chromosome that is the children that is the boy has that the son has Y chromosome and the father also has Y chromosome the characteristics like beard, mustache and the ears and uh, hair these and all transmitted from mother that is father to father not from the mother even one of the x is from father is transmitted to the female that is daughter but that has any effect on the daughters because of another x chromosome which is coming from the mother so the female inherits only x chromosome from the father and there is no effect on the particular like the ear that is the hair on the pinna of the ears that like particular characters are not inherited from the father because the the particular genes are seen only in the y chromosome not in the x chromosome so y linked genes have the special special genes they are called as holendric genes thanks thank you for watching the video if you have any doubts please put your doubts in the comment box um, if you like the video like share and subscribe to science easy tech channel